Christmas. Here we go. So, my glasses. It's my glasses. They look a little strange, don't they? So, we. I brought my glasses. It's a long story. My glasses were already broken, super glued back together, and uh, I hit them in the same spot last night, broke them again, and then someone or something hid the broken piece that I was going to fix. I think it might have been this elf. <laughs> you lost your hat. Go. <laughs> this elf right here. <laughs> so, I'm making a crock pot, crock pot ham. It was kind of fun to make. Never made a ham before. I'm not a huge fan of ham. Neither is my mom, but Roxy is like ham person. So is my dad. So it was actually really fun to make. Um, got to push whole cloves all over it, and I'm gonna just tell you in case you didn't know, I'm a bit of a novice when it comes to uh, domestication. So it was interesting, um, but it was fun to put all the different seasonings in it, and um, it called for orange peel, not the orange, just the peel. So I'm hoping this comes out. I did a turkey for Thanksgiving in the crock pot, and it turned out really well. Something's beeping. And um, we're gonna get going on the on the rest of the prep. It's a little afternoon. Uh, my parents are gonna be here around five. And I'm gonna try to keep my glasses from uh, falling off my face. Oops, sorry. Me and the elf. We're gonna get cracking on all of our kitchen stuff.
morning. So, I ended up not filming it all on Christmas Day. Ooh, sexy. Woo! Um, I ended up not... Uh, I ended up not filming it all on Christmas Day. It was just crazy. Um, we went and opened presents um, with our paternal side of Roxy's family and my family. And um, in the morning, we opened presents with them. Then we hung out with my parents and went to the park after that. And Roxy decided she should just slam her face down into the sand and got so much sand in her eyes and her nose and her mouth. So that ended up taking the whole rest of my day. So much sand in her little eyes. It was terrible. But um, Santa brought this massive frozen mansion to Roxy. And Santa was up all night building it. So Santa has blisters. Santa has blisters all over his hands. Um, and Santa was up until 4 a.m. building it, and then Roxy woke up at 4.15 to see if Santa had came. So that was also why there was not a lot of filming done yesterday. Santa was a little tired. So today, we have this. I know. It's amazing. It is so cool. So we are now currently in the process of putting the Glamour Squad Shopkins back in. They kind of like are perfect for the house. I've played with it as much as Roxy. It's I will admit that. It's really, really fun and cool. So, um, and my glasses are still broken. So I did a Christmas morning without glasses. That was interesting as well. And I found that for some reason when I don't have my glasses on, I don't hear as well. You would think when one sense is dulled, the others would heighten. No, 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 not me. Um, so because I couldn't see, somehow I couldn't really hear that well. Um, but it was a fun Christmas morning um, with Dean's dad and stepmom and sisters and brothers and the whole deal. So um, Roxy liked seeing all of her cousins. And then we went and um, played with kites at the park with um, my parents and Roxy Bear. And like I said, that's when she decided to put as much sand as humanly possible in her eyes. And I was picking pieces of sand out of her eyes all the way until 11 o'clock last night. So, but this house is still a disaster from Christmas Eve. Um, we had a great time. My parents came over Christmas Eve and opened presents with us and um, we ate. My crock pot ham turned out well. Um, the peppermint patties were a hit. Um, and the fudge was really, really good as well. And we have so much leftovers, we're going to be eating it forever. But um, we're just going to play and clean for a while. Because how are you not going to play with this house? It's amazing, huh? Mm -hmm. Let it go. So... Well, I'm going to have to clean all this. <laughs> oh, no, you can't have the camera, baby. So we're just going to play for a while and start cleaning at some point. Um, this house, can't even handle it. Maya's super excited about Christmas. Oh, Maya. Oh, my girl. Are you a good girl? Did you like Christmas? You did? <laughs> Maya got a Christmas present. It's really cool. Um, it's like a water bottle to keep in the car. And you just squeeze it and water comes out into this little reservoir. And since we take Maya everywhere with us, um, I thought that'd be good for her to have in the car. So we're going to clean slash play somehow together for a while because uh, this house is not okay. the business. Okay, and Roxy wants chocolate. Woohoo! Well then, take your position. Yep, five in Oh, one more thing. Many people in Peru speak Spanish. Gracias. So, uh, good times, good times. We 
got a bunch cleaned and we um, filled four or five bags of trash from the kitchen and the living room and then went on to cleaning some more and the dog you know my dog I love that sleeps in the bed with me and goes everywhere with us decided to shred all the garbage bags and everything that was in them and apparently ate something that made her get the runs all over the backyard which you know that would suck if it stopped there but then she proceeded to roll in her own butt paste and cover herself in feces so I just got done cleaning the whole backyard of all the trash that I had just cleaned up in the house and hosing down and shampooing the poop covered dog and now Roxy's throwing a fit so uh, this dog busted rolling in your own poop who raised you Anyway, we're going to keep cleaning and keep this dog in the house because, really, really, and I'm still dealing with, uh, are my glasses okay? Oh, no, just kidding. They're just hanging here like this because they don't, Roxy hid the piece that I still haven't found. So now I'm soaked and uh, we got to keep cleaning. Yay. Great. I love the holidays. Do you ever like wonder if you just, if you're just crotchety? Okay, honey. Do you ever wonder if you're just grumpy or like bitchy or if people are just that stupid? <laughs> well, that sounded really bitchy, but oh my God, this, these glasses. So they just opened a mountain mics. Like I live a stone's throw from this big shopping center. They just opened a mountain mics. And um, when we ordered from them after they opened, um, it took forever. And it's literally the only reason I didn't walk to get the pizza is because Roxy was sleeping. But um, I ordered delivery and the delivery guy called me to tell me he couldn't find no he asked me if I was getting the pizza delivered to the grocery store which there is a grocery store in the shopping center but I live in the you know residential and it's not even the same street name and it my name isn't Safeway so I'm like no um, I live in the residential area near your store oh you live in a house yeah, yeah I do. So, 20 minutes later, from 20 seconds away, um, he shows up and whatever, I paid him, tipped him. The, 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 food, the food was terrible. But just now, when um, we were getting ready to leave my house and we, we have like a parcel locker a couple houses down where all of our mail gets delivered and we're walking um, and I usually walk on the like street side of the sidewalk because I want Roxy on the inside of me so she started running towards the parcel box to get the mail and I was running to get on the other side of her and this mountain mics see they even have super bougie uh, Mercedes Benz or or, or BMW um, smart cars. It's so like these people, whatever. This freaking way bougie freaking mountain mics plaster wrapped smart car comes flying down my street. This kid had to have been going 60 miles an hour. I seriously could not believe how fast he was going. I mean, Roxy wasn't in the street or anything, but he looked at us first of all you know why are you going 60 miles an hour down residential on top of that you see people <laughs> and a child walking down the sidewalk with a with the mom with the stank face on maybe he didn't ever get the stank face but i'm 32 years old and i still respond to the mom's stank face 
I, ugh. so I was just mad. And then when he got to the end of our street around the corner, he literally screeched, like peeled out around the corner. And maybe I'm old. Maybe I'm bitchy. Maybe, oh, I don't know. I lost my husband in a car accident because someone wasn't paying attention and driving too fast. That could be it. But for whatever reason, I, it, what? It really, like, <laughs> it's not the day for that. So I called the store. Why did I think I could, why did I think that would go well? So this guy, I swear he sounds like he's on freaking Quaaludes. Long story short, I got nowhere. He doesn't, he said he didn't know the owner's name and told me he was the manager. I'm so freaking sure. When you do say something, It's pointless and it does nothing but frustrate you. But honestly, it, he was really driving that fast for me to like be, like he's gonna kill somebody driving around town in that car. Rant over, we're at the big eye in the sky for, for um, pull-ups. Why are we getting pull-ups, Roxy? Mm -hmm. Why are we getting them? Why are we getting pull-ups, Roxy? Did you poop in your pants? Mm-hmm. I'm sure there's definitely nothing that's going to irritate me in Target at 5 o'clock the day after Christmas. No way. I'm sure it's going to be a walk in the park. I'm currently just sitting here because, um... People. So it is now 9.30, the bubs is in bed. She wanted to go to bed, I said, okay. Target wasn't actually that bad, considering it was the day after Christmas. Um, their Lego sets were on sale, and that's my new um, hobby, if that's what you wanna call it. Um, for some reason, I guess maybe just because it's busy work, um, Building those little mini Lego sets uh, calms me um, and at night. I think it's just busy work. It keeps my brain from doing too much. But the Friends, I think it's called Friends sets, um, are, um, they were on sale. So, got some. You know, we went into Target for one thing, diapers, um, well, pull-ups. And um, two hundred dollars later, you know how it goes in there. But um, I didn't blow it on stuff I didn't really need aside from Legos. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. Christmas is officially done. Now we gotta gear up for um, New Year's. But I don't really ever. I don't really do New Year's Eve. I'm I I did New Year's Eve. I done did New Year's Eve plenty of times. In my younger years, um, I'm I'm done. <laughs> it's um, New Year's Eve is bittersweet for me for multiple reasons, um, but it is what it is, and um, I'm not sure what we're doing, but I'm ready for the new year. Ready as I'll ever be. Um, have a lot of changes coming. And, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the Christmas extravaganza, as exciting as it was not. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.